I'm Dominic Stevens, back from the holiday break with a fresh OCR call. We now expect that the OCR will remain on hold at 0.25% for the foreseeable future. There is still every reason to expect interest rates to remain low for a long time. Inflation is very low and is likely to stay that way for some time. Unemployment's too high. The exchange rate is high and I think the risk is it goes higher this year. And the Reserve Bank is running out of room to continue buying bonds under its quantitative easing program. However, recent data really is calling into question just how low the OCR needs to go. Late last year we had that stunning GDP data showing that the economy has already regained its pre-COVID level and was simply less damaged by COVID than anticipated. Then there's the housing market and this really is huge now. We've had the biggest three month increase in house prices on record according to the Real Estate Institute. I expect house, annual house price inflation will peak at 20% in the middle of this year. That's just not an environment where the Reserve Bank is going to want to be cutting the OCR further. Rather, I think it's time to wait and see what impact their actions to date end up having on employment and inflation. Now just a little closer to home, actually some recent data is showing that things peeled off a bit in the December quarter. Things like car sales, retail sales and employment have all been quite soft. I think that's the consequence of the summer without tourists. Economic activity is lower than it would normally be at this time of year because of the lack of international tourism. That means seasonally adjusted data is peeling off and it could well culminate in negative GDP growth for the December quarter of 2020 and possibly another negative quarter in early 2021. However, none of that will really take away from the fact that the economy has weathered the COVID storm better than anticipated. And so the Reserve Bank is probably going to say enough is enough, keep the OCR here for a while. Talk to you next week.